Well, I think Spain has been a target, first of all, of Al-Qaeda, even well before ISIS, um, uh, because of this whole desire to, to uh, reconquer uh, what Osama bin Laden called Al-Andalus, you know. So in the 90s and in, uh, after 9-11, I think the big awakening for Spain was the um, uh, uh, Atocha bombings in 2004. And that really put uh, the Spanish intelligence on alert. I think much before um, uh, British intelligence or others were alerted to the fact that there can be Al-Qaeda cells in, uh, in, in Spain and in Europe in particular. Remember that there's a, um, a very large Arab community in Spain and there's also a very large South Asian community in Barcelona in particular. Pakistanis, uh, Bangladeshis, uh, Indians. Um, uh, a lot of illegals who are working in the, in the coal mining industry and in other industries. You know, Spain has a particular problem because of the attraction that it has always drawn from the Arab and Muslim world. Um, and at the same time, Spain has reacted very strongly and very competently against um, extremism. So the, I, think the, I think, first of all, the attacks that we have seen um, a lot of these attacks are frustrated um, um, Muslims who have either come back from Iraq and, and, and did not uh, meet martyrdom there, but would like to, to, to face martyrdom here, um, or who want to make a name for themselves and want to be remembered, etc., etc. But, you know, I think a lot of these attacks were not necessarily organized or ordered by the ISIS Central Command, you know. Um, I'm sure ISIS is allowing these, these people, these fighters to go back to their home countries and hoping that they can create some kind of uh, crisis or chaos or, or kill um, policemen or whatever it is. Uh, and thirdly, I think um, if they are interested in, 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 in um, lone wolf attacks in the West, it is to punish the West, uh, as it were, for um, sending bombers to attack Iraq and Syria. Look, I think, I think the answer is not military. The answer is political. And what the leadership for the last five years in Europe and America have completely failed to do has been to unite and bring about a common strategy to deal with Syria and to deal with Iraq. They are two different things. Um, you need, for example, on, on, and on both these issues, the world is completely divided. You've got Russia, Iran um, uh, backing um, uh, the, the Shia militias in, in, in Syria backing President Assad in, in, sorry, in backing the Shia militias in Iraq and backing President Assad in Syria. The West is um, uh, leaving alone President Assad for the time being. It is attacking only ISIS. Obviously, you need a military side to be able to defeat um, ISIS and to defeat these other groups. But you, you have to deal with, first of all, the political problem, and, and that has not been dealt with uh, at all.